G'day everyone. Early morning video. Um, let's go down these stairs. This is my yard. And um, the outside of my house. It's not a very good view of the house, but anyway. A bit of crap hanging around. The grass needs a bit of a cut. Um, what I'm showing you guys is a drainage system I had to put in um, to prevent water from getting under the house and um, rotting out my stumps, which are actually made of red gum. Probably won't come out because it's a bit dark. Okay, yes, there is a bit of water under there, but we've had a lot of rain and, well, you know, I haven't finished contouring this area, which is actually supposed to... You see, I've started, but it's supposed to flow into the pit. It's supposed to slope towards it. This pit is actually down quite a lot further than it looks. Um, that's the outlet to the stormwater drain. Now the reason why it sticks out of the ground is to prevent backflow into the pit from the stormwater system when the pump's not operating. Okay, so the pipe runs beside the house. Uh, under there, there's a T in the downpipe and it basically goes out to the street. Vanilla doesn't actually have proper storm water like Melbourne does so it basically just goes out to the gutter anyway this ring normally screws onto the top of the pit and um, screw down yeah, so what this drum actually is um, might surprise you it's a, a cherry barrel it's what what when they pick cherries that's what they that's what they go into now the large rocks um, they got donated. Um, I'm not going to tell you where from, but they they were donated. We got looks like a bit of granite of some sort. I hope this works. Yeah. Now this pit is not plugged in at the moment, and the reason is I've been too lazy to wire in a power point just under the house there um, for the cord. Um, it's just three core flex. Anyway, we got um, you know, we got the float switch there and whatnot and pipe that comes up and goes out the side of the pit under there and up to there now I want to show this pump this pit um, pumping water out to do that I'm gonna need to plug it in over here this is a power point that for my Bosch 21 e-hot water service it's actually not been there that long it's one of those crappy, you know, cheap clips or power points you get from Mittendorf's. And, um, I wired that in myself. It uses a feed from what used to be the electric hot water service. And, um, this is actually the plug for the, um, for the pit. Nice if I could get this camera. Now what I'm going to do is set the camera down next to the pit, but obviously not looking in it, because I don't want it to fall in when the, when the pump starts. But, maybe I can... Okay, I'm just going to carefully try and set this camera on a stone or something. If it falls in, I'm going to look stupid, but you know, well, still get the video off the card, but... Okay, please don't fall in while this pump, while this pump starts up camera. Yeah, it. It's not going to fall in. Now I'm going to plug it in while, while you guys watch what happens. Okay, obviously the float switch isn't quite exactly to the point where it would turn on. Anyway, let me explain a couple of things. This um, ballast, which is what it actually is, um, goes down to these holes in the drum. Now, below this hole here, and there are several holes, just cut with a hole saw, there's concrete. Concrete is from about there to there thick. So I suppose it's about a foot thick worth of concrete. This drum is over a metre deep. So anyway, if I just give this float a bit of a kick with my hand, it'll start pumping the water out. And here this is pumping the water out. And that's it. It just pumps down to that level. And um, when it rains a lot, this pit actually fills up really quickly. You can sort of hear it coming 
you hear the downpipe sort of bubbling a bit. The pump has a head, that a head is a height, the height of water that a pump will pump maximum 